So I've got a massively exciting product launch to share with you today. Lease Loco has been in the market for about three and a half years and over that time it's had pretty much the same UI. We've, we've made changes along the way but it's been fairly consistent in terms of the look and feel of the product. We brought to market innovations like the local score, historical price charts, um, a really powerful search algorithm. But today um, we're launching something which is by far and away the biggest innovation that we've ever done. And I think it's one of the biggest innovations the market has ever seen, uh, certainly within the, the leasing space. So let me show you the product and um, I'll show you how cool it is. So before we get into the new site, just a very quick refresher on the old sites. This is the old version of Lease Local, which most of you will be familiar with. I'm on the search page. As I start to scroll down, we have the filters on the left and the search results on the right. There are no filters selected, so we've got a very generic search at the moment, just um, in terms of best deals in the market sorted by value. As we begin to scroll down further, we can see that the best deals are dominated by the Nissan Qashqai at the moment. And as a user, it's quite frustrating looking at this because I don't really know what the differences are between these different derivatives. The top one's in a center or 158 center premium Xtronic. Then we've got an center premium, then a 158 center premium. And it's just not that obvious. It's not that obvious what the price differences are between those. And because of the limitations and stock images within the industry, we have the same image for every derivative, even though there are subtle uh, visual changes to those cars. As we click into the top one, we can see our deal page, which is very specific to the 158 Center Premium. User can update the lease terms. Um, there's the historical price chart, we've got our partner section, and we've got the compared deal section at the bottom here. Um, where all our dealers and brokers will be listed uh, in order of value. So the user at this stage would simply click call, call the number, if they're on mobile, click right through uh, to call, or they would message the broker dealer and be connected and, and hopefully take out the lease deal. This is the new version of Lease Local. This is a search page, some similarities in terms of layout, but visually very different. As we begin to scroll down, we have the filters again down the left, identical filters to before. However, the main changes are what happens on the right hand side around the search. And as you can see straight away, we don't have seven Niskan cash guys on page one of search. We have consolidated all of the models within the one search result. So we've got the DS, Three, we've got the cash guy, we've got the Cooper Formentor and the Tech and so on and so forth. So it's a much cleaner look and feel to the product. Um, and from a user's perspective, they can get straight into a particular model range rather than maybe at the search stage, not fully understanding where they're going to go. Down the left hand side, we've obviously got the filters, which is on a slightly different um, scroll function, which is pretty cool and we can start to, to kind of filter down the options and obviously get different results. For consistency, I'll click into the cash guy because that was the one I was showing you in the old site. So click in and this is our product page for the Nissan cash guy. The last one was a derivative page. This is all about taking people through the journey of building out a deal on a cash guy and the way we've done that is by creating something that feels very much like a configurator. So as I begin to scroll down, this is where the real magic happens. This is about selecting options within that model range. So as we scroll down here, we're at fuel. We can very easily see that to go for the hybrid option is £49, 41 pence more per month. So we've really changed the dynamic within the product, the market, to this focus on how much more or less is that particular um, spec within the car per month. Um, so very simple for the, for the user to see that. And as we scroll down further, we can see that we can start to build out, you know, what the gearbox option might be. So I can save £16.76 per month if I go for the manual. The best value manual option is the Ascenta Premium. Interestingly, the Vizia is £8.84 per month more. So this model and this product, the way we've done this, really highlights that the lower trim Vizia 
is more expensive. And we've got this all in one place, so it's really cool. Um, the local score really coming into its own there, so we're in a 90 local score versus an 84 on the lower trim, which is more expensive, as you would expect. And as we start to move up into the higher um, trim levels, we've got the Tecna, and if we expand that, we also have the Tecna Plus, and we can see the price per month extra that would be to go for the, the higher trim level. We've got some really cool um, comparison functionality um, at product level, so we can um, tap on compare trims. I'm on iPad, so I've got three options here, but on desktop, you've got four, mobile two, and we can at a glance see the difference in alloys, upholstery, sat nav, um, you know, what's got parking assistance camera, so on and so forth. It's all the things that people are interested in. As we scroll down further, we get to drive. If there's a four wheel drive option, then that would be highlighted there. And then we've got the engine option. Interestingly, for nine pounds and two pence, I can go for the bigger engine. So instead of 140, I can go for the 150. Um, you know, if that's if that's your thing. And um, you can see how the user can kind of build out their car. And as we scroll down further, um, I can add a glass roof for seven pounds fifty a month. So all of these options exist on the old site and every other site um, and leasing individually. And it's quite difficult for users to piece together all that information, all those different user journeys and understand and work out what the best deal is and what um, derivative and trim level they're going to go within a model range. But here it's all in one place and they can literally build their car. Now, on the left hand side, I'm on the iPad here. We've got this minimized box for terms. We can expand that, collapse it, change the terms. On desktop, that's permanently open. And on mobile, that's just a wee footnote. At the bottom of this user journey, we've got view deals. The You can see also the view deal button is also at the top right um, as we scroll down the, the um, configurator. But as we get to the bottom of that user journey, we click view deals, and then the engine loads up the um, the deals on this particular configuration of the Nissan Qashqai. You can see it's loading up 69 providers, it's found 13 deals, and as I scroll down, we can see the best deals on this particular vehicle, um, leasing options being number one in this case. And the user can simply end the, um, the journey by clicking on inquire deal, opens up an overlay. I'm not logged in, but if it was logged in, I can you know, simply click inquire send inquiry off or you know get a call back you can see that button there and um and complete the journey so it, it really is that simple so there you have it a truly first to market product in this industry combining all the data with a configurator style product to make it super easy for consumers to find the best deal let me know what you think in the comments cheers